Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. Long time no monthly favorites video. Today I'm gonna be talking about all of my most recent favorites over the past like two months or so, and I have some really amazing products to talk about. I just wanna preface this video by letting you know that I purchased all of this stuff myself, and none of this is sponsored or anything because I am gonna be talking about some random products towards the end of the video that I know may come across sounding like a little bit of a commercial because I love them so much. Let's go ahead and just talk about my makeup favorites of the past couple months. For eye favorites, the first thing that I have been absolutely obsessed with, it has been my go-to eyeshadow color because it's just so simple and it always looks really good and I always get compliments on it. It is the MAC Pigment in the shade Tan. This is one of those kind of swipe it on and go eyeshadows. It is the eyeshadow I'm wearing all over my eyelids today. Because of the reflective nature of it, this can be your one shadow look. You don't even need to apply a crease color or an outer corner color or anything like that. The other eye product I wanted to talk about are these two Dose of Colors matte eyeshadow palettes that I have been absolutely obsessed with. There is the Baked Brown and the Marvelous Mauves. Maybe I've been reaching for the Marvelous Mauves a touch more just because I don't really have a matte purple palette like this. This just has all of your perfect kind of purpley cool tone shades but the baked browns I know is probably going to be the more popular one because it is the warm brown palette. I love this color right here. It is so so pretty but the texture of all of these shadows for them being matte they're really really finely milled. They are a little powdery but that does make them very very easy to blend. I have found that I can create looks with this just by itself very effortlessly if you want just a nice matte shadow look. As far as lip favorites go, of course you guys knew I was going to talk about these. My own lipsticks, in case you guys didn't know yet, I did launch my own makeup line. It's called Ronnie Cosmetics and we have six shades of lipstick out right now. These are two of the ones that I've been reaching for the most in the past month. They do come in this gorgeous gorgeous holographic box and the two shades that I've been reaching for the most first off we have latte which is just the perfect brown color with a little bit of like violet sparkle in it so it's just a very very interesting but still very wearable shade and then the shade that I have on my lips right now which could very well be my favorite out of all six this one is called syrup it's the perfect pink for all skin tones it's slightly berry toned but it just looks so good on my complexion I absolutely love this one in case you guys haven't gotten your hands on my lipsticks yet I will go ahead and put a link to shop down below it'll be the first link in the description box for you guys I love these and pretty much every single person that has received these and has given me feedback on them completely and totally loves them. So I'm so glad you guys are loving them. It took me so long to create this formula, but I am just head over heels in love. Now the other lipstick formula that I'm also head over heels in love with, this is the Marc Jacobs Lay Mark lipsticks. These are so amazing. I've loved them ever since they first launched, but this shade, which is called Boy Gorgeous, is just a color that I have been reaching for so much because it wears so well. It looks fresh hours after you apply it and I just love the texture and the feel on the lips. I would definitely say that Boy Gorgeous is very, very similar in color to Syrup. It's maybe just a little bit um, more berry. Maybe syrup is just slightly pinker, but they're really, really close. If you wanted something with a little bit of shimmer, syrup is the way to go. But if you want a fully cream finish of a similar color, boy gorgeous all the way. The final lip product I wanted to talk about is a lip balm. This is the Heartspring Co. Coconut Rose Lip Balm. So this is a product that I purchased on Etsy upon my friend Manat's recommendation. It smells just like, if you guys have ever tried Falda, which is like an Indian 
it's almost like an Indian milkshake made with rose syrup. It really smells like that. But this lip balm is all natural. The only ingredients in it are beeswax, coconut oil, pure rose oil, shea butter, sweet almond oil, and vitamin E. So it's very, very natural, nothing weird. It is handmade in California. So I will go ahead and put the link to purchase this down below as well. I purchased mine right off of Etsy and I love it. Let's go ahead and talk about some face favorites. I have two Two foundations that I've been reaching for more than anything in my collection. This is the LC Micro Silk Foundation. The shade I wear is Golden Tan. And the reason I love this foundation so, so much, first off, it is really lightweight. It has a nice medium coverage. It's a very, very natural finish on the skin. It's not overly matte, nor is it overly glowy. It still lasts really well on my oily skin. And I think the thing I love the most about it is is that this shade in golden tan matches my skin absolutely perfectly. I feel like a lot of times the biggest problem with foundations aren't necessarily their formulas, but more so just finding a shade that matches you so that you feel very comfortable in it. But if I just want something super, super quick, I've been reaching for my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. This is such a quick, easy foundation because it comes in a stick. You literally just swipe it on wherever you need it. I take a beauty blender and just blend it out. It is not cakey at all. It gives a very natural finish once again. Apparently natural finish foundations are kind of what I've been going for recently because now that we're heading into the summer months, I don't always want a very, very full coverage matte foundation. I just want something that makes me look alive and healthy and a little luminous without breaking up on my oily skin. And both of these give me that type of look. Let's talk about some cheek products that I've been loving. This is a product that I have loved ever since even before I started making videos. This is MAC Gingerly Blush. This is the best powder blush. If you guys have my skin tone, please try this out. It's the only blush I've been using for the past like month and a half. I kind of rediscovered it in my collection and I just can't put it down. You're gonna look at it in the pan and think, does that even show up? It looks like nothing, but trust me, it gives you the most healthy look. It's not too pink, it's not too peach, it's just very, very natural. It's a natural flush and I love it. As far as highlighters, these highlighters really, really surprised me and I'm surprised that I've been using them as much as I have. This is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. So Kitten is the one that I thought I was gonna be reaching for the most because it's kind of that classic champagne type color, but actually Transcendence is the shade that I have been reaching for and loving more than any other highlight. It's the most beautiful, kind of glowy, purpley, pinkish, iridescent shade. If you guys watched my most recent Get Ready With Me video, I used this in that video so you guys could see it going onto the skin. It's beautiful. I use these with my Beauty Blender sponge and they just look so natural. As far as some face, maybe some more skin care type products, First off, I wanted to talk about this. This is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. This product is essentially just a mix of different oils. There's nothing synthetic in here at all. And I really love it. I've been mixing it in with my moisturizer, mixing it in with my foundation primer, mixing it in with my foundation. I've tried it a bunch of different ways. And I will say my favorite way to use it is just mixing it in with my moisturizer. I feel like it makes my moisturizer even more moisturizing. It gives me just a boost of added hydration to my skin. The other kind of skincare product I wanted to talk about is my makeup remover. This is a new makeup remover I've been using and I am completely and totally obsessed with it. It is the Pharmacy Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, but the balm itself does look kind of like a light aloe green type color. You can see I've used a good amount of it. I've only had it for a couple weeks now, but I really, really love it. You use this the way you would use a cleansing oil so you put this balm on when you have a full face of makeup no water don't wash it off or anything and basically this product will go from kind of a thicker balm 
right into an oil. It's going to go ahead and melt off all of your makeup. It even melts off waterproof eye makeup and everything. And as a major bonus, because it is from the brand Pharmacy, it is all natural, organic, and all of that kind of stuff. So it's very good for your skin. Okay, so those are all of the makeup type favorites I have. Now I do have a couple of random favorites to talk about. First off, I did want to go ahead and talk about this. This is my Bose Bluetooth speaker and I actually picked this up in the past I would say month and this has basically been like my absolute best friend of life. Now just in general the brand Bose is a little bit expensive but if you guys are big music listeners or I guess it doesn't even have to be music you could listen to audiobooks, YouTube videos, whatever you want to watch on your phone or tablet or anything as long as it can connect to Bluetooth it can connect to the speaker and the sound quality of this is just unbeatable it's better than any sound quality i have it's better than my laptop it's better than my desktop it's better obviously than the little speaker on your phone it can actually blast music really really loudly for a tiny little speaker such a great great investment and then speaking of music i'm sure you guys are like ishani what are you listening to nowadays the obsession of the past, I don't even know, month, whenever this album came out, I started listening to it the day it came out and I haven't stopped. I literally have memorized every single song. I'm obsessed with it. It is the new Chainsmokers album called Memories Do Not Open. This is what the album artwork looks like. I have been a huge Chainsmokers fan for a long, long time now. I pretty much love every single song they've done. I love their sound, their style. It's just, it's very, very me. In this album in particular, it is on Spotify, by the way. Some of my favorite songs on it would be Break Up Every Night, Don't Say, My Type, Honest, young, those are just some of the ones. Actually, Wake Up Alone, I love a lot of the songs. It's one of those albums that I don't have a song in here that I don't like. I will listen to every single song and be very, very happy with life. And then my final random favorite, which is going to be the most random product I will probably ever talk about on this channel. I wanted to talk about underwear. Yes, I said it underwear. If you guys are a little touchy-feely about this subject for whatever reason, just click out of the video now, but I mean we all wear underwear so I figured I would share the brand of underwear that I've been so so happy with. My friend Manat, who is just such a bad influence on me, I feel like she makes me buy just a lot of stuff, but anyways, she told me that she was obsessed with this new underwear brand. Actually, I don't think it's new, but it's just new to her. But anyways, it is called Me Undies. In case you guys haven't heard of it, this is my underwear. Yeah, I'm showing underwear on my YouTube channel. I literally never thought this would happen. Anywho, this is the brand Me Undies. You can get them online. This is the most comfortable, the softest underwear I have ever ever felt in my entire life. I don't even know what this is made of. It is literally just the softest, most amazing material ever. Now, some of the coolest things about Me Undies is that they have some really, really fun, unique prints and patterns and colors. I mean, they do have your basics. Like I have a pair of black ones here. I have this kind of like emerald green, but some of the things that I love is that they do like these really, really bright, fun colors. This is like their like retro red shade. And they also do limited edition prints. Like this was kind of like their spring floral pattern that they had. And then they also have this kind of like interesting Aztec type print. And then they also have this panda print. Can we just talk about these panda print? Literally, I have purchased so many. This is just a handful that I had in my clean laundry bin. They also have a bunch of different styles, just depending on what type of underwear you prefer. The ones I have are the bikini style. That's my favorite. But they also have like a cheeky brief, a boy short, a thong, a lacy. The coolest thing is they not only make women's underwear, but they also make underwear for men in the same 
patterns. So if you have a significant other and you wanted to match your underwear, you could do that very, very easily. It's so cute. I just think it's a really cute idea. If you guys want a 20% off coupon code, I do have a referral link. I will link it down below for you guys. If you use that link and sign up and make a purchase, you will get 20% off. And I believe if you make a MeUndies account, you will also get a referral link if you want to refer some of your friends. So just to let you guys know, everybody gets a referral link if you sign up. Oh, and the other cool thing is they also have a subscription. I actually have two subscriptions going at one time. If you subscribe, it's $14 a month and you get one pair of underwear of your choice, which I think is really, really cool. But they release new limited edition designs all the time and then they have their basic colors in stock all the time. So I would definitely check out MeUndies if you guys are looking for some nicer underwear. It's one of those basics that you really do want to put a little bit of money into because you wear it every day and it makes you feel good and confident and just happy and comfortable. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this monthly favorites. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. In case you guys haven't shopped my lipstick line yet, I will go ahead and put a link for you guys to shop up there. I will also put a subscribe link down there for my channel. And that is everything. Again, thank you so much for watching, supporting, and subscribing. And I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday. I will see you then. Bye!